we go and look at polymers and the reactions that are useful for making polymers. So one of our reactions is between an acid and an alcohol, which will make ester and water. This is called an esterification reaction. It's a condensation reaction because one of the side products is water. So we're just using a simple, simple example, using acetic acid for acid, methanol for alcohol. So between these two, we're going to lose a water. So we're going to form a um, bond between the oxygen from the acid onto the carbon from the alcohol. We'll form a ester in the process. So between acetic acid and methyl, we're going to form methyl acetate. We're going to get a side product of water. So another compound here, we have a um, compound that has an acid group and an alcohol group on the same uh, molecule. So um, this can react with itself between the acid and the alcohol. We'll form an ester linkage but it can continue to do that process. So we take uh, two of the monomers, uh, we remove the water from them, and we form a, a new ester bond. This process can continue on. So the acid on one end will combine with the alcohol on the other end. We remove the water, and we form a new ester bond. So then we end up with repeating units. So we can just bracket off the portion that will repeat. We take this and put it over on this side, just keep the process going. Uh, for this repetition, each time we pull it over, we flip it so that this bond will end up on the top to make proper connection here. So we're forming esters, so any polymers from this fall in the general category of polyester. We can make an amid from an acid and amine. This is also a con condensation reaction because it removes water. And for some of these amid, especially in uh, or biological systems, we like to call that bond a peptide bond. So an amid has a peptide bond in it. So, here we have a monomer that has amine on one side, a carboxylic acid on the other side. So the carboxylic acid is going to react, react with an amine to form our uh, amide bond or peptide bond. And with this monomer, it can just keep repeating, repeating, repeating. So we end up forming a polymer. And again, we go and bracket off a portion of this. So the original molecule between the amine and the carboxylic acid. We're cutting the bond between the uh, carbonyl group and the nitrogen in two spots. And that's our repeating group. And this particular compound with six carbons in it is called nylon-6. It's also we call a polyamide. Our proteins are made up with uh, alpha amino acids. So we have a carboxylic acid and a mean group on what's called the alpha carbon, which is the first carbon away from the uh, carboxylic acid group. So we have a number of side groups that will give us the amino acids that we use for um, all life. Or, or, yeah. So we're going to react that carboxylic acid with the amine to make uh, this peptide bond, this uh, amide bond. We like to call it a peptide bond in bi biological systems. And this process continues on. So the, the carboxylic acid will react with another amine, making another peptide bond. And we keep going on making long chains. Small versions of this we call polypeptides, and big versions of this we call proteins. And again, we can bracket off the portion between the uh, breaking between the 
carbonyl group in the amine in two spots, and that's our repeating unit. Although in proteins, the side group keeps changing, so it's not an identical uh, repetition going on. Our proteins are built with the different side groups, different amino acids to create different functional systems. So this nylon six was made with a monomer, a single uh, unit that will just react endlessly. Another way that we could do that is with a copolymer. So nylon six to six uses a diamine with six carbons between and a dicarboxylic acid with four carbons between. So that gives it a total of six carbons. And the amine and the dicarboxylic acid will react to make that amid bond. Uh, so it makes the amid bond between the carbonyl and the nitrogen. In this case, uh, it takes both polymers to make a repeating unit. So we have our uh, di acid and our diamine together to make one repeating unit. Uh, so we can have single polymers or multiple polymers uh, for these uh, at condensation reactions. The other type of reaction that we commonly see for polymers are radical addition reactions. So additional reactions are adding across a double bond. And it's a radical addition because we have to initiate the reaction, carry the reaction with a free radical. So a hydroxyl radical is an easy one to use. So the hydroxyl radical will attach onto one of the carbons. The, um, it'll take one of those electrons from the pi bond to make the new bond. The other electron will end up on the other carbon, creating a new radical. So a radical is an unpaired electron. So the hydroxyl radical comes in with a half-filled lone pair. So it's looking for another electron to make a, a complete pair. So it takes one of these pi electrons, and the other pi electron is left from the other carbon. So this process repeats that radical We'll take one of these pi electrons, leave the radical on the other carbon. So it keeps adding across that double bond. Um, and then eventually a radical will meet a radical and the process will end. So this is our uh, monomer here, ethylene, also called ethene, but ethylene is the common name. So the polymer ends up being a polyethylene. And we destroy that double bond. So the double bond becomes a single bond when it reacts. So our additional reactions, even though names seem to imply a double bond in it with the E and E, they lose the double bond. The double bond's only in the monomer, but not in the actual polymer. So this is our smallest double bond that we, smallest and simplest double bond that we can have in eth ethylene. So we can also just replace one of these hydrogens with another substituent. So in a generic form here, we have our radical come in, steal one of the pi electrons, leave the radical on the other side. It repeats the process and we keep connecting these together. And then we create a generic polymer of various lengths, chain lengths. So some of these substituents that we can have, we can have a methyl group. This gives us a, a propylene. When we create a polymer out of, of it, we see our one, two, the third carbon is off to the side. So the two carbons contain the double bond or the backbone of the polymer, and the third car, carbon is off to the side. So again, we no longer have any double bonds in this, but it comes from monomer with double bonds. It's called polypropylene. Another one is a ethylene, ethene with a chlorine on it. Uh, a, uh, the formalistic name would be a chloroethylene. The common name is vinyl chloride. So again, the double bonds lost before all these uh, connections between them. So our unit has two carbons with a chlorine signal for one of them. So that polymer is called polyvinyl chloride, also known as PVC. We can have that hydrogen replaced with a um, 
phenyl group. We call this one styrene as the monomer. So we have our backbone of two carbons for each repeating unit with the phenyl group sticking off the side of one of those carbons. And that's called polystyrene. And then just a couple additional reactions. So we can replace all the hydrogens or any number of the hydrogens on that ethyl ring. So if we replace all four hydrogens with uh, fluorine, we have tetrafluoroethene as our monomer. And we end up making a polymer that is a carbon back chain with only fluorine on it. So it looks like the alkane, but with fluorine instead of hydrogen. This is polytetrafluoroethylene, also commonly known as Teflon. This is another one of our additional reactions. Let's do another one with a condensation reaction. So we have a diacid, a ter terephthalic acid, and a dialcohol, ethylene glycol. Well, we're going to remove water in the process. So we're going to make, take that uh, water away, leave a ester bond. So that'll be our ester bond with them. And then the alcohol will make a ester bond with another acid. And we keep repeating this unit. And um, the um, uh, polymer is called polyethylene terephthalate. Uh, more commonly listed as either PET or PETE. So we want you to be able to identify how monomers and polymers are connected, you know, the type of reaction, addition, or condensation, uh, what our monomer will be for the polymer, what our polymer will be for the monomer.